the solar eclipse new moon in Scorpio on October 25th marks an event on the astrological calendar, one that calls attention to the symbolic understanding of two. So two, a means of describing in your reality the interplay of forces so fundamental to your existence and your way of being. So the whole considered in parts of two, considered in terms of one part relating to another part, the integration of parts. So eclipses are potent times to understand some of the deeper foundations of the reality that you inhabit, the deeper energetic forces that shape your life and your world. So at this Scorpio eclipse, we are taking the opportunity to use the symbolism of this event to help you to reflect on aspects of your reality, the way that your reality is set up. And so understanding some of the underlying architecture that props up your reality can help you to in turn make sense of your own personal experience. So it helps to it helps you to understand the processes happening in your own life, the forces and the principles that play themselves out in your human lives. And so twos, twos can be seen to play an important role in everything. So you have a left and right hemisphere of your body and your brain. You have positive and negative inner and outer, you have a feminine polarity and a masculine polarity. And your computer codes are made up of a combination of ones and zeros. So it takes two to tango. And this is what twos refer to. The sacred dance of one part along with the other, the sacred interplay and exchange and interchange of energies that complement each other and call each other to fulfillment of themselves and to fruition of their capabilities. And so at this eclipse in Scorpio, the sun, the moon and Venus are punctuating, activating the second degree of the sign. So inhabiting, lighting up the energetic field of the number two. Sun, two degrees Scorpio. Moon, two degrees Scorpio. And Venus there, two degrees Scorpio. So Venus there making a strong guest appearance to this Scorpio eclipse, this solar eclipse new moon. Venus as the star of the show. Now two. Two is a vibration that would also speak to an initial fracturing, a breaking apart of the whole into two aspects of itself. And so this is a way of describing two that we would encourage you to think about and consider. So two means the breaking apart of a whole into two aspects or portions of itself. So the whole, the whole knowing itself as two parts. And so always there is this underlying unity. And so when the two parts find each other, there is an opening into greater awareness of self, greater knowledge of self, more complete knowledge of self. So two is a means, a method in your system of reality of coming into self-knowledge through union. So encoded in the meaning of two is a particular pathway, so to speak, of coming into knowledge of who you are. Meaning you learn about yourself through a dance, through a tango between yourself and that which reflects yourself back to you as a polar but complementary counterpart. So the dance between self and counterpart reveals to you more of who you are. So 
Two refers to the specific pathway of finding who you are through splitting the self into complementary parts or counterparts, the specific pathway of self-knowledge through interplay and the precise integration of polarities. And so this is a very unique system of self-knowledge with its own particular brand of lessons, its own curriculum. So self-knowledge through the interplay of dualities, of polar opposites, representing the splitting of something that was whole and something that at a different layer of reality maintains a level of wholeness. So two represents a dimension in which the self seeks to understand itself and seeks to come into wholeness through the process of relationship. So relationship means the state of interplay between one part and the other and another. And so the state of interplay is extremely dynamic. Forces and counterforces interact. They smooth and balance each other out and they bring out the creative potentials of the other. And so we have Scorpio, the sign of the alchemist. Scorpio, the sign that captures in its essence the transmutational process that is necessary for integration of two parts to occur. So Scorpio, the transmutational process of healing energetic imbalances so that union and merging can occur. So Scorpio describes both the process and the result of two parts integrating with each other. A deeper process of transmutation, Scorpio, leads to two parts coming together, Venus. So in human terms, this is the basis of sacred union. So sacred union, Venus, is the journey that involves a deeper process of spiritual and emotional transformation, that's Scorpio. So sacred union would involve a process of healing, transmuting and eliminating from your emotional body and soul. The compulsive thought and emotional patterns that in the final analysis, get in the way of the fullest expression of your heart in love and self-acceptance. So healing the negative patterning that arises as a result of energetic imbalance. So sacred union would describe this inner transmutational process that brings balance to your own internal energies. So it's a process of healing that happens within and then in turn has a reflection in your outer reality. And so usually the core imbalance has to do with where there are core Venus wounds to do with being worthy of receiving love, which in turn gets in the way of the heart giving love. So again, it's the dance of two, receiving and giving two. So the numerical signature of this upcoming eclipse. And so we want to point out that being able to receive is the foundation of giving. So what we want to draw attention to is that in the mere fact of your existence, you are worthy of receiving. You don't have to manipulate or cajole or beg to have access to the natural grace of existence. So allow that to sink in and see if you can sense for even just a moment the implications of that understanding for the world that you inhabit. So if you simply understood that you did not have to beg or cajole or manipulate or abuse others to receive, what would that mean for the systems on the planet? So something for your consideration. So there is such a thing as natural worthiness the basic dignity that comes with knowing that receiving is your birthright. 
the mere fact of your existence implies that you are worthy of being on the receiving end of existence. You are worthy of being on the receiving end of the loving hand of existence. And so understanding this allows you to give more fully of yourself in love. And so in your personal relationships, this knowing that you are worthy of receiving opens you up to uh, let's say your own radiance, you fulfill more of the potentials of who you are. So the more you allow yourself to receive the nourishment of receiving, the more you flower, the more you blossom, and the more loving you become. So sacred union implies correcting or healing the imbalances and distorted patterns that have to do with the giving and receiving process. So usually these imbalances are introduced or are internally activated during your childhood phase. So very often through dynamics to do with your parents and the internal messages you received about how worthy you were of receiving love. So distorted messaging to do with your own worthiness to receive is at the root of energetic imbalance. So uncertainty about your own basic worthiness to receive love would result in overcompensating patterns that throw your internal energies off balance. And so these overcompensating patterns would in turn show themselves in your relationships. And so in terms of human relationships, the process of sacred union is a transmutational healing process that sees you interplaying with others in order to heal old emotional patterns in or held within your soul record in order for you to come into more integration and balance. And so as other people interplay with you, they are also healing their own patterns, healing and transmuting emotional patterns that get in the way of self-love and the ability to love another. So healing the imbalances that get in the way of receiving and giving. And healing the imbalances that get in the way of receiving and giving in turn has a whole series of energetic effects on the human system. So when accumulated debris stored in the emotional body at Scorpio, when that is transmuted and healed against Scorpio and imbalances move toward more resolution, there is a corresponding clearing that takes place. So there is a clean up of your own internal energies. You become a clearer refractor and receptacle for light. So your judgment improves as you are less pulled out of balance by compulsive emotional patterns existing inside of you. So other people, others are less able to pull your strings, so to speak, because you have arrived at an internal point of integration and balance. So this is one of the spin-offs. So these are some of the processes that we wanted to highlight at this eclipse. Processes happening within the collective with a heightened intensity as forces propel you to transmute and to clean up the imbalances that cannot travel with you into the next phase of your sacred soul journey. So meaning as you seek to evolve your consciousness and to explore new facets of what it means to be human, there is a movement toward new experiences and possibilities. And so from a soul perspective, many of you have gotten tired of circling the drain, tired of repeating the same old story. So you've arrived at a point where you wish to break free of the old patterns in your soul record and open up new dimensions of what it means to be in human form. And so this means healing and transmuting the consciousness behind 
your imbalances and integrating your energies so that you can activate new potentials within your humanity. And so that is the bigger picture and it is important to have a bigger picture view of things. So you are in the process of opening up new dimensions of your, of your humanness, activating new codes in your human template, integrating your internal energies opens you up to new dimensions of who you are as an individual and in turn, new kinds of relationships enter your life a renewed and regenerated capacity for love and giving of the self opens up to you and you get to know yourself with more fullness. You are able to move into more joy, which is evidence of more internal coherence of your energies, evidence of your own integration. So in simple terms, this eclipse, offers support for a deeper psychic release and healing process. It offers support for transmuting the energetic debris within the emotional body and soul in order to make way for healing imbalances. So healing and transmuting the imbalances that stem from core worthiness wounding and warping of your receiving capacities imbalances that get in the way of your capacity for love, imbalances that get in the way of your capacity for loving yourself and knowing your own worthiness and value, imbalances that would get in the way of your capacity to share of yourselves with another in love and cooperation to bring out the highest potentials in each other in a flow of receiving and giving. So these are a few things to think about at this Scorpio new moon, this eclipse, this solar eclipse in Scorpio with the two, two, two vibration, the twos. It takes two to tango is our tagline for this um, eclipse. All right, so reminding you that as usual, I'm available for a range of private astrological and spiritual counseling consultations. And these are available at taranikita.com. You can find links to that in the description box below, where you'll also find links to join my email list if you'd like these new and full moon reflections and teachings to be sent to your inbox. So wishing you a peaceful eclipse, wishing you deeper peace of the spirit, the peace that comes from balance and purification of your emotional energies as you leave past patterning behind. Until next time, talk soon. Bye.